going to do chapter 24, number 11 now, and I uh, started to draw this um, to set it up, and I decided I'm going to just think aloud as I draw it to help you see maybe where these curves come from, another just a little bit more repetition. I'm interested in drawing the, the image of a, a monopolist, um, and I'm going to go ahead and make this one. No, I'm not going to tell you. The monopolist is the sole producer in a market, so the monopolist faces the entire market demand curve. We have derived marginal revenue, which is the change in total revenue over the change in quantity, given these prices and quantities. We've done that because price times quantity is total revenue. When we did that, we found marginal revenue, if we graphed it, is a line trapped beneath demand steeper like this. It could go down into negative territory, but that's usually, that's not going to be something relevant to us, to us anyway. Okay, so this is the monopolist revenue side is how I view this. The cost structure that firms face, those are always drawn the same way. They were the chapter before last, and those curves, if we have those memorized, uh, that would be ideal because those are always drawn the same way. Uh, I'll start with average total cost. I'm going to just put it, uh, I don't know, let's say like this. All right, I kind of was winging that. Um, now I want to draw marginal costs. What do I need to think about before I draw marginal cost? I can't draw it anywhere. Let's, there are two things to think about. Uh, one is where it goes, the other is what it's shaped like. Let, let me start there. Where, what, what's it shaped like? Marginal cost looks like a check mark. And before I draw it, where do I have to have it in the model? What's, there's one thing that's always uh, necessarily true given the definitions of our terms. That is that marginal cost always crosses average total cost at the minimum of average total cost. Okay, so I'm talking about the check mark. It must cross about here. So there's marginal cost. That's really all we need to examine a monopoly are these uh, four lines. Okay, so hopefully it was useful to hear one more time uh, why they're shaped the way they are and where they go. I missed I missed the middle missed the missed the minimum a little bit, but it's probably okay. That should be at the minimum, okay? I missed maybe a touch. All right. Uh, where is the firm going to produce? Marginal revenue because marginal cost. Every time. Uh, that's right here. That's where they're equal. So this is the firm's expected level of output because that's profit maximizing. Producing another, the next unit would cost it more than it would bring it. So why would it go there? It would see that as it was happening and not do it. Now, what price will the market bear for this level of output? The demand curve is the market demand curve. So for this level of output, the consumers are willing and able to pay this price. So why wouldn't the monopolist charge that price? That's what they're willing and able to pay for what this amount they're making. If they charged less than that, they would be, you know, for the same amount that they, that they produce, there would be actually they could create a shortage. They wouldn't do that. If they change their output level, as I said, that wouldn't be profit maximizing. So this is where we could expect them to be. This is going to be our equilibrium price. How are they doing? This was the part I started to answer. When I was drawing it, I knew how I wanted it to turn out. But I want you to have the chance to think about it. How is this monopolist doing? They're doing well. I know that because their cost per unit is captured right here. For this number of units, average total cost is cost per unit. That's their cost per unit, or, or average total cost or cost per unit. So this rectangle is their cost per unit times their number of units. So this rectangle is all total cost. This rectangle is how many units they're making times how much they can get per unit. Price times quantity is total revenue. So this entire thing. This entire rectangle is total revenue, okay? Um, what's this gap here? I don't want to darken it. That's their economic profit. So when I look at number 11, a monopolist cost curve has shifted upward. What is likely to happen to the monopolist price, output rate, and economic profits? 
the marginal cost curve has shifted upward. Can I move marginal cost only? The answer is no, because of that rule. It's not just a rule. It's not like it's written somewhere. It's the definition of these, these variables. Marginal cost always crosses average total cost at its minimum. So if marginal cost rises, average total cost must rise too. So let me set this down so I can switch to a different color marker. And we'll hypothetically, we'll draw in that shift. We'll just draw them both higher. Okay, we're given that marginal cost is going to rise. So let's go ahead and increase marginal cost. Okay, I can't leave average cost average total cost where it was because it's no longer being crossed at the minimum. So average total cost must rise also. So average total cost must rise also. Let's go ahead and bring it to here, see what happens. I, I really don't know exactly because I just sketched this, okay? So that's crossing at about the minimum of average total cost still. So we have done what the prompt asked us to do. We've increased marginal cost. It just necessarily means we also increased average total cost. And now we're asked how the firm is doing. Well, they're still going to produce where? Where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. So that is now here. So quantity produced has fallen. If the quantity produced has fallen, well, at lower quantities, there are fewer people out there uh, who would be buying them because that's going to push up on the price. So the price has risen here because the demand curve, lower quantities and higher prices are going together. That's what demand is, right? So let's, I'm a little off of the specific things we were asked. Let's see if we've answered everything. What would likely happen to monopolist price? We just got it there in purple. It would go up. Um, Monopolist output rate, we got it there in purple. It would go down. And the economic profit, oh, that's a little bit interesting. Um, no, it isn't. It's quite clear. It's not as interesting as I thought. My cost per unit is now here, right? So what happened to economic profit? It's now this purple rectangle along here. So what does that mean? It's shrunk. Economic profit has shrunk. The price has gone up and the quantity that the monopolist would produce has gone down. So those are the three things that we were asked for in 2411. See you in the next video.